Okay, I'd like to show you how to change a cup seal on a 500 milliliter or one liter vessel. So here we have a cup seal already assembled. We've taken it out of the vessel. And we want to remove the cup seal retaining ring. Take the retaining ring off and we can just pull this cup seal out and we have a new cup seal here and of course as you probably already know uh, the open side of the cup sheet seal should face the interior of the vessel the pressure side of the vessel so we just gently push this on here making sure each side is pressed down a little at a time so you don't put any marks into the uh, into the cup seal and push it all the way down there then we can put the retaining plate on And it's as simple as that. Uh, there are some cautions you should do, uh, uh, just to make sure though, uh, we're using uh, a new cup seal here uh, that has a little bit quicker lead time for us from the vendor, uh, and actually is rated for a little higher temperature as well. Uh, but if you notice, if you can zoom in to the profile of this cup seal, it does the edge of it toward the vessel sticks out a little bit more than previous cup seals. Now we don't have any problem with this seating into the cup seal sealing surface of the vessel. Uh, but you should always make sure that when you put this in the vessel, you don't bang the cup seal against the vessel body threads. Because if you put a, a significant dent in here, that could be a path for leakage. Okay, so just make sure that you align it correctly don't let it bang against the side of the vessel body threads. And uh, if you'd like uh, to make this lip compress easier, you can put a little bit of, of like water around it, okay, for lubricity. And then uh, you can put this, you can screw this into your vessel and you should have no problems uh, using this new cup seal. And it should last just as long as our normal cup seals.